everybody. Coming to you with another haul video. This haul video has um, items from, a little bit of items from Goodwill, and then items from my favorite treasure troves um, of the little town that I work in, in upstate New York. And uh, I just found some really awesome stuff. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more haul videos from my places that I go. I go to Goodwill, Salvation Army, Little Craft or Little Thrift Stores, and what I call my treasure troves in the little town that I work in. And well, let's just get started. So what I'll show you first is the stuff from Goodwill, and then I will go right into the little treasure troves uh, places in that little town. So start out with this very beautiful uh, blue trinket dish. It's actually plastic, and, but it is, it's made in Hong Kong, and it's just beautiful uh, with the flowers. It kind of, I think it's, what is, um, it reminds you of the, well, I can't think of what it's called, but see the beautiful little trinket, Wedgwood, sort of reminded me of Wedgwood, but it's plastic. <laughs> so it's very beautiful with the white flowers and the butterflies. And I know I do love my butterflies, but I can't keep everything, right? <laughs> so, and next were these gorgeous plates. The plates are made, um, well, I'm not quite sure. Let me check. <laughs> Maybe one of the other plates will be a little more um, easier to read. Oh, goodness. Well, they have the, the beautiful reticulated plates. It's a set of three with the beautiful flowers. And I'll show you the back there. And there's also two more. Um, I think it says Schumann, I think. I'm not quite sure. Oh, sorry about that. And the, all the flowers are just slightly different. So they'd be beautiful for hanging. I think if, um, they don't have the holes for hanging, but I think that they would be wonderful if there was a way or displaying, you know, straight up for springtime or Mother's Day even. So those I thought were really nice. And of course, <laughs> Goodwill and their, their packing tape, right? <laughs> now I found these beautiful little um, cups. This is Hallmark and made in Taiwan. And it has best bunnies. <laughs> I'm glad we're friends mug. Isn't that cute? The little bunnies. And then Hallmark on the bottom. And then I'm glad we're friends. So it's one of those lidded teacups. It's in pretty good condition. I don't really see any like utensil wear on the inside of that one. So it looks really nice. And um, I have a lot of these things that I pick up. I do live sales every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you may see some of these in an upcoming sale. So if you're interested for a friend or for, um, for Easter, this is another one. These are called Mug Mates from um, Hallmark. And this one says, friends make your day a little brighter. <laughs> so it's cute on this side. And this says, friends make your heart a little lighter. <laughs> so that's really nice. And then it has the top. Uh, friend is your own special sun, little bleh sunshine <laughs> and on the bottom it says hug mates hallmark uh, betsy clark 1983 hallmark so i just thought that was beautiful and cute so put that over there oops 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 i know it makes sounds like it's making a horrible noise but it really isn't <laughs> and let's see uh, there was this beautiful brown and turquoise uh, cat. Now, I do like cats, but it's not not my style, so I'll pass it on. I don't know if it's uh, redware, uh, but it doesn't have any markings or who it's made by. I just thought it was very stunning and um, more, you know, it is 3D, of course, but it's very slim. <laughs> so that was nice. I thought that would be a good 
thing for a person that loves kitties. And of course, coming up soon is St. Patrick's Day. So this was a really nice Ireland mug. And, but it doesn't say who made it. It just says Ireland on both sides and Ireland on the bottom. So <laughs> nice little simple thing for um, St. Patrick's Day. And the inside looks pretty good. Then, I just, this I thought was just funny, and I had to pick it up. It's a notepad, but it's a cow. <laughs> and I thought that was kind of funny. It's just activity guide, shapes for all kids, or kids of all ages and everything. And it's made, made in the USA, in New York. Um, doesn't give a date, I don't think. No, I can't really see a date, but I just thought that was kind of funny. It's just, oh, wait, there it is. Uh, 1987. So, just a little cow, you know, you could display it or actually use it. I just thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> and along those lines, I also, nope, wrong one. Sorry, that's from <laughs> the treasure troves. These I got were these butterflies. I love my butterflies. So these are going to be using myself in some art projects. And then the butterfly die cuts. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm going to be using these for, for my junk journals. And I'll be having soon. Um, if you're new to me, I do junk journaling a lot. And I'm work currently working on a, a Valentine's Day one. So I'm going to be having upcoming video soon to show you how I'm doing with that. Um, but I'm just gung-ho getting into those junk journaling things. So I'm going to be doing a butterfly and flower one and a couple other ones. But got to get through this Valentine's Day one first. <laughs> so, all right. So let's just keep going. I found this really interesting. Uh, could be letter holder or for napkins and such. But very retro. Look at that. You can get any more 60s or 70s there. And it's green. And, but there's no markings of who made it. Just, just pretty, pretty groovy. <laughs> so I thought that was neat. Um, I found this and I swooped it up right away and I haven't even had a chance to take a look and see how much it is. And, um, and of course they have to put a sticker everywhere. Oh, well, I just noticed something, okay. This is this um, picture, and it's a hobnail, and I there's no marking at the bottom. I just haven't had a chance to look it up. And this stopper um, has the hobnail type on the top as well. And I did notice a little chip. I I honestly do not know if the t this goes with this or not I just I'll have to look it up but I just thought it was really nice and it was a really good price and surprising for Goodwill so sometimes they they know what they're doing and um jack up the prices you know well of course for resellers but um this one worked for worked in my favor so all right and then I think Oh, yeah, there's just a couple of more. This next item, this is a beautiful tray. It has the uh, birds on th three sides, and it's it's kind of a combination. It is Revere Pewter, that's what's around the sides, and the felt on the back, and then it's almost like a ceramic tray. And it's, it's a decent, it's not heavy, heavy, but it's decent. And I was like, wow. And they didn't want too much for it either. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm picking that up. <laughs> so, and then let's see, there was a couple of more things here. And then I'll go into my treasure troves. <laughs> um, I used to, I was calling them another name of the little places I'd go in this little town, but my mother-in-law brought it up that kind of sounded inappropriate so I was like hmm okay I need to find another name so I call them my treasure troves right reclaim treasures by Mary I gotta get them from the treasure trove <laughs> so I found this this is 1979 Russ Bur Berry and Company or Co made in Taiwan and I thought this was so adorable 
It says loving your or loving you happens to be what I do best. I just thought it was so cute, especially with Valentine's Day coming up or, you know, an anniversary in 1979 there at the bottom. I thought that was nice. And then the last thing I got at Goodwill this time around, because I've gone several times, so I definitely have plenty to go around. They are these beautiful um, brown basket type fruit on the front, but they are measuring cups. So this one is a one cup. Now they don't say um, Japan, but they definitely remind me of that. Uh, for the most part, most of, there's three of them all together. This, the biggest one is pretty good. Um, you know, it is glazed on the inside, so I guess you could use it if you really wanted to, or more just for display, I think. Then next down is the half cup. Now the half cup, um, well, yep. I noticed a couple little, little tiny chippies, but then I noticed this one. Oh dear. So may not want to use it for, uh, actual liquid but I just thought they were really neat and interesting for maybe a display. And then the last one is the fourth cup, fourth cup. And this one has, you know, some surface chippies. Um, you could probably just um, give those a little paint over or something. Or, um, and I just thought they would be super cute as a display. So you have all three of these, and they have the fruit. Um, I think they're supposed to be apples. <laughs> not quite sure. So it's a cream color, and a like it looks like an apple, but I'm not quite sure. So <laughs> those I thought were really neat. Now I um, that was Goodwill. So oh no, oh how could I forget this one? This was the funnest pick I got that day. This was from Goodwill and it's an ice bucket. But if you notice the graphics, they are all hot sauces. I had never seen anything like that before. It's in good condition and it's uh, made by, or elegance by Craftware. Made in New Jersey. It doesn't give a um, date, but there's the company. So I just, I thought this was fun. You know, maybe for a guy's bar, um, you know, or what do they call it? The man cave. <laughs> All right. Ladies, we have our she shed. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was the phone, of course. How is it? It's always ringing here, right? Okay, so that was it for the Goodwill. And now I'll show you the stuff that I got at my little treasure troves. I have three places uh, an antique store a um a flea market and a little thrift store and actually i didn't get anything from the one place so it's only two treasure troves this time all right so oh and you know what i'm looking down right in front of me and these were from the goodwill too oh silly these were these cute little uh yellow colored um cups or bowls with the green flowers and the gray on the inside so very very retro looking doesn't say who they're made by but they are there's two of them and this one has more of a orange flower and this one has more of a green flower so they could definitely be bowls mugs uh, planters whatever you'd like they could hold your cheese and your cashews or both your cheese and your cashews and one and the other. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to put those over there. Okay, now we'll get to the treasure trove. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, the first thing I'll show you is from the little tiny uh, thrift store in the area. I did pick up some Mickey Mouse Valentine's Day. So, if you do order from one of my live sales, you may see this in this coming order. I have a live sale every uh, Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Reclaimed Treasures by Mary. So check it out. You probably see something in, from this video and a couple of my other videos. So next I found this thing and this is taking me back. 
not to Sesame Street necessarily, but these are little um, coated plastic mats, but they were made in 1996. And that's when my oldest child was born, um, my daughter. And I just thought they were kind of neat. They're like, this is the food pyramid they're talking about. And then there's some different matchings and, you know, what's wrong with the picture kind of thing. So I thought that was really cool. And I, there, oh, sorry about that, guys. There's two of them. So I thought, you know, Sesame Street hasn't gone out of style yet, but just the reminiscing about 1996. So, and what do I have? Ah, yes, I have these really interesting little salt and pepper shakers. They are from Japan, but they have Niagara Falls on them. Isn't that cool? I don't know if that's going to focus, but the Niagara Falls symbol right there. And they're like little steins. So isn't that kind of neat? All right. I thought those were very cool. And I know... My, my people might like that. I found this adorable little bird statue. It's just a little tiny bird. Um, doesn't say where it's made, but you know, a little yellow bird. Makes you think of springtime. And this was just in, this I thought was so cute. And this was just in that kind of free pile, little trinkety toys and stuff. And I always like to dig in there. And this is such a cute little chicky. A little chicky and an egg with this little hat on <laughs> and there's some flowers at the bottom. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but whatever is happening on the bottom here, there's some sort of paper that's not there anymore. But I just thought this was so cute, you know, for Easter display or oh, it's so adorable. Okay, I got a couple of books. I got the golden book of the Christmas story. This one is, um, let's see, this one originally copyrighted in 52, 1952, and this is a copyright renew, 1980. Yep. Yeah. So, it's a Christmas story. It's in good shape. Um, the person took really good care of it because there's no, um, no writing or anything in it. Oh, look at the baby and the lamb. That cute. Then, another blast from the past. Now, this one, little war for the wear, you know, little worn for the wear, is Little Mermaid. <laughs> so, this one is in good condition, too. And it has, um, you know, Eric and everything. <laughs> And this one's copyright is 1989. Yes, if you hear a kitty in the background, that's um, Cat the Cat. <laughs> uh, we have a cat, uh, two dogs, sometimes three, and some reptiles. So we have quite the full house here, <laughs> including the seven people that live here too. <laughs> so if you hear that, that's Cat. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So we f I found some beautiful linens. Um, there was this beautiful little handkerchief with embroidery at the bottom and it is a butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? And uh, I thought it was really neat. I'm not so much into the hankies, so I'll definitely be passing this on to somebody who likes them. Um, I found some fabric, so people that wanted to do fabric um, things or junk journaling and wanted to pass it along. I think this says there's a yard, or 40, 45 inch width, so that would be nice if people, you know, do like a pillow or something. And the other fabric is purple. Now this is two yards. And it's purple and um, nice different purple with the trees. Now this particular one I kind of like, so I may um, be offering like one pound, or one pound, <laughs> one yard and keep a yard for myself, but we'll have to see about that. So, and then of course we couldn't go to our little thrift store without 
picking up a beautiful little doily. So I just thought that was so pretty. Nice little square doily. And that came from the one thrift store. And the things that I'll show you now came from the flea market, which I'll definitely be going back to because they've got some really nice things. And I don't know if they realize they have really nice things <laughs> for very reasonable prices. And um, you'll see what I mean <laughs> in a couple seconds. So, of course, I know that the people, some people that follow me regularly love their depression glass. Well, I think I did very well this time. I got two depression glass bowls, little fruit bowls both of those and they do glow you can even some sort of see it in the, the light here unfortunately I kept my little flashlight in my pocket of my coat and must have had it on so the battery died so I'm hoping by the time I put this up on the sale one of my live sales that <laughs> will be able to um, have a new battery and be able to show you the glow now the berry bowls are awesome but I also found three, oh my goodness. Everybody held their breath with that one, huh? <laughs> three dessert bowls. And even in this light, you can sort of see them glowing. So there's a set of three dessert bowls. So those will definitely be at one of my live sales coming up soon. And I have one piece of dep pink depression glass. Now it's only just a single cup, but that's okay. You know, you can have a cup of tea or just for your display, put some stuff in there. So I thought that was gorgeous. And the one thing, now I don't get chalkware very often, but I saw this and they were having a sale in their booth. So I was like, oh, definitely. I am picking these up because these are in excellent condition. Well, okay, pretty darn good, close to excellent. <laughs> there is this Japanese couple or Oriental couple. No, no, Chinese or Japanese. Um, and it says Plastier, Plastier, Plasterier <laughs> for Angel Flores. So on the back there. Now, let me get a better grip on these guys. They are a oriental couple. So we have the lady with the beautiful jet black hair, but you see she's got a little, you know, needs a little powder for her nose, but she's, they are really in good condition and they have the hole in the back and very nice. And they have the hole in the back, but they also have the big thing up here, like the staple or the hook. So very pretty with the, and then the handsome gentleman to go with her and he's there and sporting his long uh, t ponytail in the back or braid not ponytail I'm sorry it's a braid in the back so these I thought were in really nice condition and if the Japanese or Oriental um, is your aesthetic or um, what you like to decorate your home in. I thought these were just gorgeous. So I'm pretty sure that's everything that I got from this trip out. So stay tuned for some more because I've got plenty more videos coming where I've gone to Goodwill and Salvation Army and a few different thrift stores. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see even more coming up. And if you'd like to purchase anything, you could join me on one of my uh, live sales, which are Sundays at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here on Reclaim Treasures by Mary. And if there's something that you gotta have before that, uh, send me an email at reclaimtreasuresbymary at gmail.com and we can talk and see what we can do. All right, bye for now and we'll see you in another haul video or something else. So bye guys and have a great night.